to the Seed Story Cup number three here again with Forzen for the next match. And we are awaiting the match between Firebat and Kungen. That's uh, the losers match of this group. Mm -hmm. So whoever loses this match uh, will be eliminated from the tournament. Yeah, Kungen played a fairly uh, close series to Show, 3-2, uh, I believe. Exactly. Uh, and Show sweeped Faramir. So Kungen is actually doing a lot better than I thought he would in this tournament. <laughs> Uh, he's been probably practicing a lot of, of stream and uh, stuff like that, so it's <laughs> going to be interesting to see him. I, I didn't see his game, so, but I'm really looking forward to it. And Firebat is, uh, of course, known to be top tier player. Uh, losing to Kungen here would definitely be something of, a, <laughs> of an upset here. Uh, exactly. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure. Yeah, you can't stress, us in, uh, stress that enough. Uh, Firebat, the reigning the reigning world champion so far in Kungen, as we all say, he does not play too much. He's still a very good player. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, some people say he's not as good as some of the pros here. So we are going to see how that plays out. Kungen, first of all, starts with his mage. It's a mech mage, and he runs into Firebat's hunter. Firebat's hunter, we have seen that before. It's a mid-range hunter. It's a mid-range hunter. Uh, so... Mm, starting with Freezing Trap and um, and Hunter's Mark is not the best versus Mech Mage, but uh, Kungen, uh, so far his hand is not looking that good. He, he's still, uh, he still can mull again, whatever he wants here. Uh, and I hope he really does. The Snow Chugger is really good in this matchup because it prevents the weapon from killing your your um, Mech Mage, uh, your mix. Um, but you really need that one drop if you go first. And it did get that. Wow, exactly. Really Kogan good. gets the Cockmaster here to put on some more pressure. Mm. And also there's an interesting story to the bans and the picks that we had before because everybody is banning Shaman against Firebat and that's very awkward to see. And there's a little story behind that because RDU, also well-known player, just reached rank 1 legend with that Shaman on a 20 win streak, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Ikop told me it was a crazy win streak and that's why everybody is banning that Shaman from Firebat. I would love to see that. but it, I, I, It's not... Uh... Uh, it's not RDU's Shaman though, uh, it's, uh, it's from um, a previous World of Warcraft player known as Inflames who, uh, okay. who brought this kind of Shaman, uh, Gara told me about it and then people started playing it and RDU got great success with it as you said. Uh, so it's like, if you don't really know uh, what kind of Shaman it is, uh, Kungen, I think Kungen feels safe, uh, safer banning it, you know. Yeah. You know we don't know what you're up against. Exactly, it's just interesting to mention here that that's the second time the Shaman gets banned here by Firebat. In, else in his lineup he has a Mage Hunter and Paladin and he's going up against Warlock, Mage and Druid by Kungan. And first of all Kungan runs into a Freezing Trap with his uh, Snow Chugger. But he can still place his Mech Whopper. Yeah, sadly for Kungan, uh, he has a bow. That's it. He has a bow. Firebat has a bow, swings to the Mac Whopper, takes it out. And like that, all the Mac Whopper value is gone instantly. Firebat also swings to the face with his mad scientist and can now go for... I guess, I guess you go for the Mac Yeti here. Yeah. Turn four. The only thing that trades um, for both minions and the bow. Uh, the thing is here that if Firebat attacks here with the mad scientist, he won't get uh, freezing trap because it's already in his hand. So exactly. So he has to play it in order to get that second bow charge. And freezing Yeti is pretty damn good because it costs four compared to other mech minions that are significantly cheaper. Uh, that top deck though is really great. Yeah, and Nitron in combination with that Tinker Town technician, really great as you already said. Yeah. So he's gonna have to use his bow charge here, uh, but. We're most likely gonna see Unleash here. Unleash and um, um, Hunter's Mark. Unleash and Hunter's Mark. Just about to come. I'm just uh, thinking the Owl would mm. maybe be a bit wasted here. You could think about that yeah. if you want to put on more pressure. Uh, Firebat is also playing with that thought. I think that like Owl is pretty decent here. Like There are not a lot of stuff you want to silence. I. I would assume that it's going to silence uh, either the Yeti or the 4-4 because four four, uh, the Divine Shield is not a problem because you have one damage hounds and then you attack with the... But he seems to disagree. Yeah. I'm not sure. 
I would think so too. Well, silencing the three three uh, the four four to make it a three three has nearly the same effect. It's just a one hound more that you need to trade into a four four. Uh, yeah, but and anyway, you, take you one could more damage as well. But I was yeah. thinking about silencing the Yeti because you don't want to give your opponents spare parts when they have exactly. Antonidas, uh which is one of the ways you could lose this game. Exactly, and we already see Archmage and Tonidas lining up here in Kungan's hand, and he has two spare parts already. We'll now go for the Mirror Entity, as it looks, because if he kept track of Firebat, he now knows that Firebat plays a mid-range hunter, and we mm -hmm. might see a turn six Savannah Highman, even though it's not in Firebat's hand. First of all, he looks if Firebat has a second secret, but he doesn't play a Snake Trap. No. Nope. So... This is quite, quite nice uh, play here. Um... It forces him to kill that 4-4, so he doesn't have to get it returned to his hand with Freezing Trap. Yeah. He's trying to stall the game so he can play uh, Arc Mage and Taunt, uh, coming up in two turns. Mirror Entity, that's a pretty damn good top take there, getting that Web Spinner. Exactly, that Web Spinner, the perfect target here to give your opponent for Fire Bat. Puts on some more pressure, uses his zero ability. We'll probably take out that to preserve his owl. Wow, that's actually a great beast. Between yeah, like the Stampede and Kodo. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're most looking gonna see it getting played here and a ping on uh, something else. You want to play it first before you ping because you don't want to hit the 1-1. One, one. Uh, but Kungen is doing it in the wrong order. He can still kill that owl with uh, that um, battle cry. So now... He increased no, he the takes chances that. of wow. oh, and it's actually going to bite him a bit because he got that um, Savannah high main from that. So that was a slight missed play by Kungen that actually turned out to cost him greatly. Um, this is this is one of those turns where... Oh, Dr. Boom here. Oh, wow. I think you need to deal with it with... Um, you have Boom. to, there's no yeah. way you can't leave that on the yeah. board. You're already down to 16 HP and Dr. Boom is just such a big threat here. Using that taunt means that he's not gonna get a fireball cycle with the, the Antonidas. Um, but he's dropping so damn low. He is, he is for sure. And, um, he can't even attack because of that freezing trap. It's, it's looking very grim for Kungen here. I think actually like if you want to play to win here, you have to use this uh, taunt on uh, Antonidas or Dr. Boom. Uh, five health is not enough. Uh, this is gonna hurt him quite a bit. Yeah, I think so too. And now another turn for Firebat. He could go for... Well, first of all, I would see what the bombs do. Yeah, for sure. I would attack with bombs first as well. And then think about the Savannah High Main. Um, it's just another threat on the board. Well, he also places the Knife Juggler first. He wants to increase the chance of the Juggle to hit a minion before he trades mm -hmm. with the bomb. Not a bad play at all. Oh, he even yeah. uses his bow now. That's also he, he realizes that he needs to clear both minions here because he has a freezing trap. And that bomb... Perfect hit. Yeah. Very nice here, and that's just so much pressure. Not Nine, even a flame ten, strike. 12, 13 damage. Um, and then knife juggler hits. Yeah. He needs to play Dr. Boom here and hope that the, the bombs hit the, his bombs. Oh, the jugglers hit his bombs, and then he clears stuff with it. Yeah. Wow, animal companion. Leok or Huffer could be lethal here. Could be, Depending unless, on what the life juggler yeah, hits. Yeah, exactly. But... So he's trying to think of a way of... Okay, it should be good. Well, now Leok Since would the bomb, not... Since the well, bomb can't kill the, the, the high man. Exactly, and Leok so. still represents lethal, buffing up the Savannah high man. So yeah. not overextending here. Very smart play yep. by Firebat. And yeah. Closes out the first game here and wins 1-0 over Kungen. Mm -hmm. Lost his hunter in the process because it's Conquest World and he has his mage and his paladin to follow that up. And it's going to be interesting to see mage and paladin. So Kungen started with his own mage mm -hmm. against mage and paladin. I would not like to play the druid because if you run into, I forgot, does Firebat play a mech mage? Uh, I did not see those games, but... I've seen him play Freeze Mage recently, so Freeze Mage, that's okay. what I think it is. Yeah, then it's it seems pretty okay to pick the Druid, but as Kungen, I would maybe just stick to the Mage. 
Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea at all. It's in, it's not super good versus um, uh, Freeze Mage, but uh, it's it's fairly okay versus Paladin. And uh, Kungen decides to play Warlock into Paladin, which is a pretty hard matchup a matchup for the Warlock, depending on what kind of it. I I think it's Demon Lock. I disconnected the, the game disconnected before I had a chance to see, but. Yeah, I guess uh, Demon Lock is the most popular yeah. version of it right now, and we see the Malgana, so that's uh, an indication of a Demon Lock here. Yeah, not not the greatest starting hand here from Kungen. Uh, I saw him mulligan away an abusive sergeant, and that could have been an okay keep um, if you get your eggs or void colors to trade up, but. Uh, Getting Malganis is not really what you want, unless you top pick that Void Caller. And that's a nice hand here for Firebat. Yeah, uh, he really has the hand. Shielded mini bot for the early game. On turn 3, you can coin out the Piloted Shredder or the True Silver mm -hmm. Champion in case you need it. And Kungun, on the other hand... He did get the Egg, which is nice. Yeah, he starts with the Egg. Because he can power overwhelming this. Equality, a very crucial card in this matchup to yeah. deal with Malganis or Lord Jiraxus once they come on the board by the White Caller. So it's always good to, to also have it early in hand because you can rely on that. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, it's it's better to draw it right when you need it. Yeah, of course, of course. And he tapped into an abusive sergeant here, which is, which is really great here. Uh, you don't want to use a power overwhelming to kill a shield, but abusive sergeant is fine to kill a shield. But still, Firebat has the true silver champion and the yeah. coin, so he, he can easily take care of that Nerubian and takes it out with the true silver champion. So, not lining up very nicely here for Firebat. Yeah, so far, uh, Fire, Firebat is a bit ahead on value here uh, because he has that true silver. Dark Bomb, not sure if that's going to be used here. M we're most likely going to see a tap first of all. Void Call, There's that's the void a really color. good card here. Yeah, with Marganis and Lord Jaraxxus yeah. already in his hand. Lord Jaraxxus is not really what you want to drop on the board versus Paladin because it's so good in the late game to get those Infernals out, but... It, it depends. Most of the Paladins also run Harrison Jones, and in the late game most of them do have Harrison Jones available, so sometimes mm. you run into that... That, is, that is true, uh, but uh, if you play Jaraxxus late enough, then you can actually fatigue the Paladin by, by playing... Uh, the Drax into Exactly, but now we see it on turn 5. Kungen goes for the Void Caller, and it's gonna be interesting to see how Firebat will deal with that. First of all, you could also just ignore it yeah, for now. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna be. It's not, it's not gonna drop a Lothal and then kill it. It's gonna, it's gonna ignore this uh, for sure. Uh, make him do the trades. Putting on some pressure. Kungen is down to 20 HP already. Yeah, I think he's gonna trade with the Lothal here, because... Uh, uh, if he gets Jaraxxus, that trades for the Shredder, pretty good. And he did get the Jaraxxus. Yes, the Eridor Lord of the Burning Legion enters the board and is followed up by an Antique Healbot. Um, that is setting up a Equality Consecration pretty nicely, I wanted to say, and Firebat draws into Equality Consecration. Though you want to keep that, because there are some more threats. I don't think this is an Equality Consecration turn. I think that he wants to wait a bit longer. But he decides that he doesn't have anything better to play. Only Shredder Hero Power might be too slow. He's coming into a perfect curve with uh, Dr. Boom and Ragnaros on turn 7 and turn 8. So I understand that he m might want to use it here. If he didn't have that perfect curve, uh, turn 7, turn 8, then I don't think he would have used that right there. Yeah, usually you can wait for bigger threats. Or if you had, like, Master for Battle this turn, you could have thought about that using mm -hmm. in combination with for the sure. equality. But it's totally okay like, for that reason now and uh, Kungen just plays the Nerubian Egg on the board so that's a very nice board to play Dr. Boom on that. Yeah, certainly. Uh, we do see a BGH uh, in Kungen's hand but if he uses the BGH here it's gonna be problematic dealing with the Ragnaros. Dark Bomb. I think... Wow, this is like... like if he knows that his opponent has a Ragnaros in his hand, then he would obviously not use the BGH here. He would use the Power Overwhelmings uh, to kill that of the Boom. We saw it on stream before, so mm -hmm. but there are also the chances that Firebat does not have Ragnaros right now available, or does not even draw into the into it the whole game. But if Kungen paid attention yeah. and did some research, I would like to say, um, then he knows the Ragnaros is available anyway. He try he goes for the big game hunter here, and rightfully so, I would say, because. Yeah. He, 
if you have a target for the big game hunter, you cannot be sure that your opponent has the, the Ragnaros following that up. For sure. And here, this, this is quite problematic here, because both the bombs and the Ragnaros can hit that egg and yes. enable it. So, uh, But I would rather hit it with the bombs than with Ragnaros, because then sure. you can easily trade it away with the true silver champion. So. Uh, what does the second bomb do? Both bombs hit to the face. Uh, he can almost go for lethal here. If he had hit for one more damage, he could go for a 50-50. Um, it's actually very unfortunate, just hitting for one damage yeah. here. Yeah, but it did hit a f f for the first one, so that's quite good. You know, it's kind of balanced, right? Yeah, but overall, five damage from the bombs, I guess that's okay. But that's average. he could have hoped for more. Yeah, he could have. Silencing the egg to prepare for Reinro's turn. Uh, quite good. Bane of Doom. What can that do here? You could take out the owl and just... Uh... Oh my god! I'm sorry, that was awful. That is so bad. Never lucky, baby. <laughs> so I, I think you just Argus here. Uh, I mean, you could play the Dark Bomb, but you are scared of dying here. Like, if you don't kill that Shredder, um, or if something comes out of it, that's... Oh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, you should maybe use your Dark Bomb before. Yeah, because it might have been a 4 uh, health minion. Exactly. Like Mana, Mana Storm or exactly, I agree to that, but like, like this, the Novice Engineer, you don't even want to use the Dark Bomb, and I can understand that. Yeah, and I, I, I would have preferred to see the Argus there, because uh, you would have gotten the buff from the, the Imp. Yes. Uh, now it's wasted when the minion dies to power roaming. But now he's setting up a lethal on the board with Ragnaros. He just has to swing to the face and then has a 50-50 chance of winning that game. Yeah. So let's see if Ragnaros is feeling lucky today. And there we go! The face. It hits the face and Firebat also wins the second game with his Paladin going up to zero. It's a serious now. So now he has his mage left. Um, so, depending on what mage this is, he can actually lose this series still. Uh, it's it's possible. Uh, the freeze mage is good against the Kungin's mech mage, mm -hmm. and um, it's not very good versus druid. It's not very good versus it's it's all right versus demon lock. I think he runs. Does it run one or two healbots in this uh, demon lock deck? Do you know? Oh, sorry, I don't know. We yeah. don't have the lists available, and or maybe I think it's two. We have mm -hmm. seen we have seen a game before, and uh, as I remember, but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I think he runs two. We have seen that lining up in the hand where he, when he was playing okay, against so Show before. So then it's quite good versus free smash, but we're about to find out what kind of mage this is because I did not watch the previous. Games. I would love to see the mech mage now because it has a higher chance to to win one of three games now. I would say. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it is a mech mage from Firebat. Uh, no freeze for this tournament. Pretty good. Oh, that that's actually a pretty decent hand there from Kungen. No yeah, dark bombs. Shadow Flame and Hellfire. Yeah, no dark bombs, but it did get the, the Hellfire and Shadow Flame and Mortal Coil, which can be used on our Clockwork Gnome, which is unfortunately not here. Nope. So now this turn, I expect Firebat to just go for a Snow Chugger. There's no value out of that Mech Whopper here instantly, and there we have the answer. It's two antique Hubots. Yeah. So it could have been. Um, you could have played the Blood Mage there instead of tapping. Because in this matchup, it's not going to go to like value, it's not going to go to fatigue. So, just preventing your opponent from playing a minion uh, at the cost of his, like two mana, it's, it's, it's pretty worth it. Or maybe he traded the Snow Chugger into that. Well, oh, yeah. So, you're not preventing a minion with that. And like this, you can go for a double mortal coil, take out that Tinker Town Technician if you wanted to, mm -hmm. even though that feels like a costly trade here. Yeah, it, I think. Mm, yeah, he's just gonna wait here for Blast Mage. And yeah, perfectly, Blast Mage coming down, and uh, Thanos just draws a card. A lot of damage being dealt here by Firebat. So, this is most certainly a Hellfire Coil turn here. Um, he can coil again next turn. It's unfortunate that he doesn't have. Six yeah, mana. but with the nine damage here in the hand, uh, 
Yeah. It's looking very grim, I would say, for for uh, for Kungen here. And he's facing elimination from the tournament, so there's it a is. lot on the line here. So Hellfire comes down as you said earlier. He does have two heal bots, but the thing is he needs to he needs to kill that and uh, heal, which is impossible next turn. Yeah, and with that kind of board, with a Cogmaster now coming down, and with a Mac Warper, Firebat is really putting on the pressure here. Yeah, I don't see any possible play here to survive. Uh, is there anything at all that he can draw from that model coil? Um, I'm not so sure. I don't think there is. Even another Hellfire does not do anything. If he had six mana, he could uh, Molko a heal bot. And if that he would heals up for him. eight, though, this turn. It's not enough. Yeah. It's not enough. He can, he can deal damage. nine from hand. But Kungan does not know what Firebat does have in no. his hand. So that's the thing. Uh, the perfect play here would be Mortal Coil and uh, Dark Bomb. <laughs> Mortal Coil, Dark Bomb? Yeah. Do you deny. If you take it like that, you deny six you draw damage. You, you might draw, you can draw into a. Yeah, an owl, for example. Owl. You can silence the 3 2 and Dark Bomb the 2 3. Or you silence the, the 2 2, but then you take two more damage. Uh, Exactly, so it's all about preventing it. more yeah. damage. And it's like, this was a really good turn for Kungin. It's just uh, too Oh, he bad. even silences the mad scientist, yeah. but... In the end, it doesn't matter. Another very quick series. Wow, Fawzen. Yeah. It's because of you. Yeah. I would say you're... People, people are never lucky when I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> well, Firebat in this case is lucky. He takes out Kungin in another very quick series and a 3-0 clean sweep. So Firebat still has a shot to advance to the next group stage. Yeah, and he's going to be facing uh, who? He's going to be facing uh, Show. No, is yeah, still Shoals. through and uh, is no, already through. Faramir, and Faramir, Faramir is the one yeah, he's going to face. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the decider match of the group. Mm -hmm. So either Faramir or Firebat will advance to, to the next group stage. And that leaves us with another short break. Mm -hmm. Thank you one again, uh, once again for casting with me and see you guys after the break.